Metal Mike coming at you. Now here's an item that I have for sale. And one of my subscribers had mentioned that he has a barbecue uh, shop, <laughs> barbecue uh, restaurant. Whatever, whatever the deal is, here I've got this giant war tax, uh, warthog taxidermy. Boy, I'm just not speaking well this morning. Um, it's a front mount. He's massive. If you can see, if I put my hand right here, I know that this is dark footage. Hopefully you can see it much better than I'm seeing it on camera. He's got his little feet planted right there in stone. Let me turn on one more light to see if we can brighten it up just a little bit down here. Well, I have him for sale. I'm asking $900 for him, and I think that's a very, very fair offer. Or price. Not <laughs> I'm selling it for a buddy of mine. Now it's a front mount piece. He mounts against the wall, or he can just stand on his own two feet, but it's best. There's actually a hole in the back, a nail mount, so that he can bolt to the wall right here if need be, but if I pull him away from the wall, he's just fine. He stands on his own and he's pretty solid, but he's built obviously to go flat against the wall. Big freaking pig. This is at least what? Who knows, six, seven, eight, nine hundred pound pig. I don't know how much this, this big effer weighs, but he's nice. The tusks are not real. They're plastic. They do that a lot, but he's a great looking hog. Now, if you'd like to purchase him, all you have to do is contact me. I'm in northeast Minneapolis. Easy pickup. I'll help you load them. Now, there's a little couple breaks here down in the, in the stand itself. There were weeds that stuck up out of there as if he was in the wilderness. I pulled those out. I don't know why I did, but I just did, and I left those holes so someone else would have to do it. Look, you can see his birthmarks on there, little pig, pig dots. But really, I well done large old taxidermy warthog pig 900 bucks come and get him he's all yours and that's a deal if you look on uh, ebay and such heads sometimes can bring between 200 to 500 bucks and up large warthog and pig heads here you've got a full front body mount ready to go let's come and get him i need him out of here guys 900 dollars and piggy is yours Remember, Metal Mike, Junk and Antiques, always buying old vintage items, antiques, doing everything from cleaning out a house. If you have a house that is up for sale, uh, a hoarder house that needs to be cleaned out, I can come in there, uh, do the job one time, and get it done. No fooling around. Very respectful, clean, discreet cleanouts. Uh, also, always buying antiques, military items, old toys, record albums, heavy metal albums, thrash metal albums. I want it all, and I pay very well for it. Am I going to pay you top buck that you've seen on eBay? Oh, hell no. I have to make money, so I have. To, I do this for a living. I buy and resell, but I pay very fairly. I'm not going to rob you, that's for sure. I'm going to give you a nice price. And I'll tell you something. Being myself, I'm a collector. There's many times that I've sold things, military and such, and one instance, I sold a lot of my World War II collection probably about three, four years ago. And the guy took me for all I was worth. And whose fault is that? That's mine, but I was desperate and I needed money. But he knew that and he really beat me up on the prices. That's something I'm not going to do to you. I'm going to give you a fair price. I might even pay you top dollar if it's a really neat item. Helmets, bayonets, swords, flags, scrapbooks anything from World War II or World War I especially, I will buy from you, and I will pay you well, and I'll give you a little history lesson, of course, because I, I know a lot about that subject. Not everything, but a lot. And I think really what I want to find is I want to find a heavy metal record collection. Years ago, gr growing up in the 80s, I was a huge metalhead, and I still am to this day, if you look around me, I just love heavy metal, and there's my records, and and, 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 and I just love it. But I sold most of my albums. You know, you see hundreds of albums here, but I've just been rebuying. I don't have the one and the collection that I once had. So I'm looking for nice, old, heavy metal and thrash albums, and I pay very well. Better than if you took it to uh, a second-hand uh, record store or something like that. They're, they're going to rob you blind. Maybe they won't. I shouldn't say that. But I will treat you very well. So 
old t-shirts, old rock and roll heavy metal t-shirts, I want them. You got an Iron Maiden shirt from the 1980s. It's got holes in it. It's faded. The sleeves are cut off. I want it. You got an old uh, leather jacket from the 80s, heavy metal with patches on it. You got a jean jacket. I want it. You got heavy metal posters. I want it. I want it all and I'll pay for it. A metal mic. Buzzer junk and antiques. Crazy for this stuff. I got the bug. Everyone, good luck picking. Have a great Saturday. And join me for more videos as always. Signing out. Trying to give you good contact. Unscripted. Reality. Hey now.